Hey guys, welcome to another video of this series. Uh, so in this video, we are going to talk about fragments in Android. So first of all, what is fragment? So in simpler words, uh, if I want to explain, I would say uh, we can say that fragments are light weighted activities, uh, but not activities. Mind it. Uh, fragments are different from activities, but it works similar way. Uh, the way uh, it 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 works similar to the activities it has its own life cycle just like activity it has its own life cycle methods like on start on create on on destroy on stop on pause uh, so on you can uh, by the way you can uh, read about this on the developer website as well uh, so what is basically the difference between activities and fragment well activities takes the whole screen um, and when we talk about fragments fragments can either take the whole screen or fragment uh, can take a portion of a screen as well you know like we can say that activities can host the fragments uh, we need by the uh, uh, as a matter of fact we need activities to host the fragment but fragments cannot host an activity we can, uh, by the way, use fragments uh, multiple times whenever we need in the uh, our application, you know. So uh, let's just uh, not waste the time in uh, talking about theories of fragments. Uh, instead, let's just make a fragment. So first of all, let me just clear this code. And before that, let me just show you how we can create a fragment. Uh, the same way we ha we can we can create activities two ways by uh, directly making a new activity and by uh, making a layout file and Kotlin file separately. So we will see the first way of making a fragment. So right click on this folder and go to new. And here we have fragment from where we can create different types of fragments. So I'm just gonna create a blank fragment for now and i'm just gonna name it first fragment it will create a layout file for us as well and make sure you have kotlin chosen as source language so finish and it will create a fragment for us so here we have a fragment uh, first fragment of kd file uh, there are some codes that we don't need at this stage so i'm just gonna remove those codes i don't want this as well and uh, I'm just gonna keep on create view and I'm just gonna delete everything else sorry yeah so we have on create view method in our fragment where we can see that it is uh, in return state when it is inflating the fragment first layout basically uh, if I write uh, uh, it this way well view uh, well v equals to inflator dot inflate this line and then i return v so this is basically doing uh, the same thing so it's basically returning this fragment first file as uh, the layout just like the we have set content view in our activity so in our first fragment, we have this text view here. So let me just remove it. And instead, I'm just going to create a button. Wrap content, wrap content ID will be button underscore first, whatever ID you can give it. And text will be click me and of course we have to give cons okay uh, instead of frame layout i would take constraint layout here as a root layout so now let's give constraint horizontally and vertically and also i will give uh i'll give background as purple 200 so it is it, it is placed differently you know so now let's create another fragment 
uh, this time I'm gonna create it manually for layout and XML file uh, sorry layout and Kotlin file so click on this layout folder new layout resource file I'm gonna name it fragment underscore second click OK and I'm gonna actually let me just copy this and paste it here and instead of purple 200 I'm just gonna keep it plain white and I will instead of button I would say I'll take text view text view wrap content ID equals to TV underscore second text will be sample text size will be 25 dp text color will be black and obviously we'll have to give constraint i'm gonna keep it on the middle of the screen so yeah now let's go on to the main activity dot kt file we don't need this code i'm just gonna remove all of the code from here and okay i deleted calibris so now actually just let's go to main activity xml file and here instead of text view we will need a, a fragment container to host our fragment so uh, we can host actually uh, our fragment on this main uh, constraint layout as well but i'm just gonna keep uh, i just want to keep some uh, uh keep everything you know separate so that we can uh differentiate between activity and fragment and you can better understand the concept of fragment and activity how they are different so let's take a frame layout here i'm just gonna give width will be mesh parent and height will be 500 dp so and uh, background to let let i'm just giving the background temporarily so i uh, we can see uh, that i'm not keeping the whole screen uh, for this frame layout id will be uh frame uh, as a matter of fact you can uh choose different layout from frame or uh, not uh, it's not necessary to choose frame layout to host a fragment you can choose uh, whatever you like right so and uh yeah, basically we don't need to do anything else i'm just gonna remove this uh, background for now so, so now we have seen that it's different uh, it's uh, it, it's uh, it's taking this much of a screen not the whole screen uh, so let me just remove it and let's give uh, horizontal and vertical to parent and i'm just gonna keep it so now let's go to main activity.kt now to load a fragment we will need an instance of a fragment so let's create an instance of a fragment i'm just gonna create an instance of first fragment so let's take val first fragment equals to first fragment yeah oh okay we didn't uh, we have not yet created a Kotlin file for our second fragment so let's first do that so a new Kotlin class or file and I'm gonna name it second fragment and it will extend uh, the class fragment in activity we were extending at compact activity and in fragments we extend fragment so uh, as you uh, if you see first fragment uh, file it's overriding this on create view method and inflating uh, the view this way but there is a shortcut here uh, we can directly uh, give the view on this uh, constructor of this fragment class uh, which will be r dot layout dot we have fragment second now we don't have to uh, override this on create view method instead now we can just directly uh or uh, we we directly can override on view created method here so anyway let's do just go to main activity dot kt file we have created our instance of a first fragment now now uh, we need to call sorry 
uh, support fragment manager dot begin transaction dot apply now we will call replace method and here we are able to take two parameters one will be the id of uh, the layout that we want our fragment to be loaded into uh, so we have the frame layout for that so i'm just gonna give ir dot id dot frame and as a second parameter we will we'll give the instance of a fragment which we have already created first fragment and comment so that's it we don't need to do anything else let's run our application and see that the, our first fragment is being loaded on the activity so as we can see our fragment is loaded on our frame layout as we expected it to be right so now uh, i want to go uh, i want to when i click on this button of fragment i want to go from uh, the first fragment to second fragment so let's see how we can do that uh, actually the second fragment will be loaded on this uh, this uh, this very uh, frame uh, itself so we don't need to create another activity or anything else to host that second fragment so basically it will it will be placed on top of this first fragment so uh, think of it like uh, a stack uh, we at the base of a stack you have an empty activity or a, a, a let's say empty layout uh, and then you put fragment on uh, on that layout then if you load second fragment it will be loaded on to that uh, first fragment then third fragment will be on top of this uh, second fragment and so on so just think of it as uh, like a stack so let's just uh, click on this button and load the second fragment for now so go to the first fragment dot uh, kt file here uh, we have to override um, on view created method and we will take a variable for our button of type button so uh, in activity we will directly call and find view by id but uh, if we're not supporting fragment we need to use view uh, that we have here view dot find view by id view dot not comma uh, view dot find view by id r dot id dot button first and when we click on the button dot set on click listener uh, to go from one activity to, to another we were using intent but if you want to load a fragment we want we'll have to call uh fragment manager fragment manager dot begin transaction dot apply now call replace method as usual we need to give id of that layout which is frame and uh i'll just pass the instance of the second fragment i'm not gonna create an vari another variable for that instead i'm just gonna pass second fragment and uh, uh, call an instance here itself and at the end i'll just call commit method and here we'll need to give uh, a null check as well okay not uh, asserted uh, this double uh, ex exclamation mark that says it's not a null fragment manager is not null uh, basically right so yeah let's run our application and see when we click on that button if it is going to second fragment or not yeah so let's click on this button and as we can see it's loading that second fragment because this text view is in the second fragment file All right so now when i click on the back button it will close the app so i want to go to the first fragment from second fragment which is below that second fragment in that stack of fragments right so to do that we call another method before commit uh, that is add to back stack and we'll pass null inside that so now if i click uh, if i read on the application and if i click on the button and now if i click back button it will take me back to that first fragment but now if i click uh, the back button again it will close the app because i haven't put this add to back stack inside this uh, 
uh, when we are replacing this first fragment right so if i want to go to the blank activity i'll need to call add to backstack here as well so yeah now let's see how we can pass data between fragments so let's go to first fragment and uh, suppose when i click on this button i want to pass something to the second fragment so to do that we'll need to create a bundle uh, to pass the data so inside this uh, fragment uh, sorry on click method uh, let's create a bundle first so well bundle equals to bundle uh, blank instance of a bundle and then let's put some values inside this bundle put string i'll put string let's say key will be one and value will be one itself so i'm putting this uh, value inside this bundle now uh, when we are calling uh, this fragment manager uh, before that we'll need to set an argument to that second fragment so let's just create uh, an instance for that so well second fragment equals to second fragment and i will create set an argument to the second fragments by writing this equals to bundle and instead of this i'll replace this instance with this variable that we created second fragment and to catch this uh, argument at the second fragment we'll call uh, we'll take another variable s equals to arguments dot get string because we passed string and we write this one key that we passed there and now we'll take another variable for text view equals to uh, view dot find view by id text view <coughs> r dot id dot tv second and tv dot uh, text equals to s and obviously we need to call this uh, our double exclamation mark here before arguments so now if we run our application uh, when we click on that button our text view will be changed to one because we are passing that one value to the arguments to the fragment. So let's click on this button and the text will be changed to one. So that's how you pass values between fragments using arguments. So yeah, that was uh, this was all about fragments, loading fragments, add to back stack, and arguments in fragments. So that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next video.